It's the new year again. This is the Lymph Jam number 10, weekly Lymph Jam number 10. I've had a few times where it's been a week off for a break. And so, yes, the Lymph Jams, what are they about? The lymph, lymphatic system and health and exercise. Lymphatic health exercise. So, just getting things moving, getting it pumping, and focusing on moving for health and exercise can be anything you like it to be and so these are just building block movements to be able to help you see that you can do things in whatever way you like as long as you understand a little bit about how the lymphatic system clears and moves so there's 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 videos on i've done videos on what lymphatic health exercise is so you can check them out but um, the main thing is with the lymph jam is just to explore that movement and get vibration going and then get it pumping. That's the main ideas. But there's also the metabolic health exercise areas too, which is just to breathe nasally, relaxed, down into the belly, with the mouth shut, and to and light. So very light, as light as you can without getting too much air, the hunger for air. When you feel that, you can deepen the breath a bit, but just not suddenly gasp. So you're just maintaining a level of CO2 in the system because we need it for metabolic reactions in the body to help um, just all, all chemical reactions in the body. So we can, we can not realize that we're getting rid of too much carbon dioxide over time which is basically uh, means that our bodies can get stressed quicker and we get more reactive and we don't realize. So when we do a breath work practice, we're actually increasing the CO2 levels in the body. Um, and it doesn't have to be relaxing, but it can be relaxing, but it can also be pushing towards less breathing, which means that we breathe, want to breathe harder, but if we breathe harder, then we get rid of the carbon dioxide again. So we're looking to limit the breath by keeping it light so there's less air exchange and you can also do breath hold work as well but that's another story so at the moment we're just looking at trying to breathe either if it's long and slow then it's not wide so it's like breathing in like this we're just focusing on not breathing too fast so I mean hard so that there's there's less air exchange. And you can also do this faster, but tiny as well. So it's just like like a little mouse ticking away and the air just goes past the nose lightly. So it's not rushing, rushing, rushing. And if you start to get air hunger, then just breathe a bit deeper and then recalibrate and then go back into it again. So let's get moving. And um, 20 minutes is enough time for a decent amount of exchange going on. So I'm going to start the clock. We're just going to work with vibration as well today. Explore getting things moving fast, which helps the cells exchange and draw out into the lymphatic system more easily. So here we go. So let's just pass. And I'm going with my breath, tiny. Let everything pass. You can do this at your own rate as well if you're much more. Just go lighter. any aches or pains if they're getting aggravated or worse like to come back to smaller but if it's if it's staying constant then it's okay little glitch there
more of a bounce now. You start to bounce into the calves a bit. Tiny breaths, relax muscles. Let it all just flow like water flowing. Bouncing. How about a little bit more disco hips? So unlocking, locking the knees, but keeping that bounce going. Might start to want to breathe harder there. Just, just could take one slow, longer breath. Just to recalibrate and back to the small breaths. about I've this, I've this one before but it's sort of like a bat, pelvic tilt bounce so the, just a slight tilt but relaxed it's a dance not, not a squeezing squeezing just relax with it so you're bouncing again a little head nod pelvic tilt c shaped spine s shaped spine c shape bounce mid range Use more energy. We want to breathe faster, but limit it and go. Another cross thread. So tapping forwards, twisting slightly. Twist the hands over the knees, coming forwards. The opposite hand. Slight twist, no push. Relax the muscles. Shake. Side bend wrist. Bouncing spotty dog. Relax. Shake. out too hard. Breath in, but wait there. Little mouse breath. Stretch. That's the breath. of a stretch now so we're gonna reach, reach, reach around step back and just sort of calf pump reach 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 ahead a bit relax the muscles mouse breath
lighter bounce. See if you can notice if your muscles are a bit more relaxed. Now. That's only been seven minutes. How do you feel? Stop for a moment. Breathing slow, relaxed. And out. Breathing in. Relax that. Just let the air fall in. Slow. again, just tap on the top of chest, mouth breath, mouth shut, as heavy as you like. Strong, straight fingers, loose wrists. No ribs. Go around with the liver and the spina, looking after our metabolism, our blood. Then you can do if you're getting tired. Maybe you can just breathe a bit longer. Keep it light. Go slower. Let's just tap all over the body now. Well done arms. Give yourself a round of applause. Halfway point. We're going to do a nice long tapping sequence because this is working with vibration today, so we're going to go quite, quite a lot on each area. Mouth shut, relaxed breathing, down into the belly, either fast or slower. Let the air fall in. Saw patches just go lighter, obviously, but not all lots so of obviously, but just really go as be as sensitive as you want, but as heavy as you can or feel. It's all right. Tap the hands, lock the fists together. webs together, it's comfortable. Thumbs. There is like a clash and a relaxed clash, all the muscles are relaxing.
notice the buzz there for a moment. Joisting. Oh, there's vibrations helping get the fluids out of the muscles, the new fluids. Well done neck, well done shoulders. Holding this brain material all the time. Happy on the head. Lightly on the temples. Well done, brain. Draw. Relax the jaw. Where the muscle is on the back of the neck there. Rub the eyes. Rub the jaw there. back and the muscles turn off and it's going out back and forward. Notice the different tissues that turn on more. If they turn off you're going into the muscle belly. If you turn on it's travelling down into the, into the tendons and the ligaments. muscles. Big femur bones, biggest bones in the body that we create red blood cells, white blood cells, by hormone releases and production as well. Try to balance, don't try to stay still, pop up and down a bit, keep moving. Really? Find your balance point. Or just lean against the wall if you've got one. Amazing breathing. 
just... Just listen to that for a moment. Breathing in slow. Don't lock the knees back, but just coming up, lengthening. Fully back. Relax. Put the chin slightly down, open up the neck at the back. Go the shoulders. Find your balance point. Where it feels easy. Having a wave of air hunger, just breathing a bit deeper slightly. But ride it so that it's not too uncomfortable, but it feels like a buzz. Minimum effort. That's been 20 minutes. I could go on and do more. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. And let me know how you feel in the comments. And anything that's bothering you personally about your health, you can send me a message if you want. Um, and, or if it's a general comment, then please, I'd love to know. So let me know what can be done, if there's anything done better or worse. I know I'm gonna sort my, my beard out, moustache from the lockdown. <laughs> so that's it for today have a great day and there's lots of other videos that I've done about the, the, the breakdown of the exercises in more building block terms uh, so that's it have a good day bye